afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center on an absolutely miserable, cold, and rainy Monday. Not a great way to start a video, is it? Got tired of watching it rain all day, so I got my umbrella out here. Going to film a motorhome. This is a 2015 Thor Ace 30.1 good looking motorhome guys we sell every one of these door aces we get in about as fast as i can post them online and this is the first one i've been able to get our hands on in a few months and uh very good condition it's 30 feet 10 inches long total length at its longest point it has two slide outs um 33,000 actual miles on it and just had like all pretty much all fours and coachmans and jacos and a lot of forest rivers from this area had to have all the furniture recovered which i buy them like that on purpose guys because it allows me to uh, buy these at a bargain because most dealers and a lot of individuals don't want to buy them because of the flaking furniture problem which was a uh, defect in uh, the material that lippard used in the furniture back then that the, that the heat exposure to heat causes it to partially melt and when it partially melts and re-solidifies several times, it just starts flaking off. Almost like your furniture has dandruff, I guess is the best, best way to describe it. And uh, you either gotta replace it or recover it. I'm very, very fortunate to have a great upholstery shop here in town that um, can get these back to me within a few weeks. And yes, it cost me a couple thousand dollars, but I'm able to buy the motorhome about $10,000 cheaper than I would have if it had good furniture in it. And I have it recovered in the factory color in the material that Thor should have put in it to begin with a lot thicker material that you never have to worry about flaking off again so that's why i'm able to offer you this motorhome for 49.9 instead of 65 60 grand like everybody else is selling the same year making model for as a matter of fact nada on this rv with no added options just adjusting for the miles average retail is 67 and i'm thousands underneath low retail with 33,000 miles let me flash that nada up real quick hang on one second so you can see guys i've got the best deal in the country and you can go on rb trader and check me on that if you want to i've got the lowest priced 2015 Thor Ace 30.1 in the country right now. By more than just a few thousand dollars too. This thing won't be here long at all. Now I apologize guys, it's just like la just like Saturday because of the weather. I'm not gonna be flying my drone and I'm not gonna be test driving it today. I know I won't have this motor home in a week or two, but if I do, by some miracle, I will reshoot this video with drone footage and a test drive. But uh, it does have HD Max paint. It does have a few cracking in some of the stripes because it is a, you know, eight year old motorhome after all. But these things brand new, $130,000, $140,000 now. This thing's under 50. So I don't know about y'all, but I can put up with a few uh, cracking stripes for that kind of savings. I mean, my gosh, folks, that's a huge amount of savings and only getting 33,000 miles. Does have leveling jacks, it does have a 4KW Onan generator, 30 amp electrical service, TPO roof system, it does have the slide toppers on both slide outs. No HD Max fade, just got a little bit of cracking on the rear stripes. Does have the uh, 362 horsepower Triton V10. Now guys, it does have, according to the factory sales brochure, which you can always get a copy of on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, it does have a tow capacity of 8,000 pounds. Now, I'm gonna go over that when I go inside. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to explain that why I always say don't always go by the factory brochure. It's kind of just uh, deceiving to the average RV consumer. I'll go over that when we go inside the motorhome because I don't want to stand out here and try to go over it in this rain. One piece windshield. Man, stripes are starting to kind of get a little faded right there, but. Does have a power awning. 
does have an outside television 32 inch tv it's there i took pictures of it earlier power step let's go inside and i apologize if i get a drop of water on my camera try to keep it under the umbrella but i ain't gonna carry the umbrella inside all right Whew. this is one of those cold rainy days you just wish you stayed in bed <coughs> ah, it's nice and warm in here Got some lights on. Good open floor plan. Like I said, all the seats were recovered. The front seats, the sofa, the dinette booths, all recovered. Uh, same color material that was from the factory. So, you know, if you didn't know it was changed, which I mean, <laughs> if it wasn't changed, you would definitely know it because it'd be all in pieces. But uh, if you've got a 15 model that has not been recovered and well it's coming trust me you're very fortunate and uh it's, it's coming but uh, like i said 33,000 miles no check engine lights 30 actually 33 i don't have my glasses on well i have them but they're full of water 254 i believe one piece windshield does have the bed with the mattress overhead. Um, the uh, I left the main keys inside the office. My mistake. I didn't want to get out the rain, so I didn't bring the key for the uh, for the bed lift. So you just have to take my word for it that it works. But it does have a single bunk that lowers down down over the front cab. There is your table that sets up right here between the front seats. The front seats do swivel for party seating and that table gives you extra eating service for two people. It does have a fold out tray for the passenger for when you're going down the road. Of course, this right here will not work with the motor homes running, the motors running. Flip down sleeper sofa. You've got a table booth that makes a bed. I do have the extra cushion laying in the back bed for the dinette booth to make it into a full size bed. This makes a full size bed that's a single bunk so one two three four five six seven sleeping capacity let me go back to what i was talking about with the tow capacity because everybody and i've seen several reviewers on youtube say don't always go by the tow capacity but they never say why and i'm just going to use this Thor race for an example you see you look up factory sales brochures like the ace does and it says eight thousand it says eight thousand pound tow capacity for this store ace all right here's the problem guys this motorhome weighs about fifteen thousand pounds dry weight and that's with nothing in here no fuel no propane no passengers no driver pretty much if it was weighed right after it was built it would weigh fifteen thousand pounds maybe a few pounds under that now, what you've got to watch out for is called the GCWR, Gross Combined Weight Rating. And what that is, that is the maximum amount that your motorhome and the weight of anything it's towing can weigh. You know what that GCWR rating is? On this 30.1, it's 23,000 pounds. So yes, if theoretically you can tow 8,000 pounds or a little under 8,000 pounds, if you had a couple of gallons of gas in the tank, no water, no propane, a very skinny, lightweight driver, and no passengers, no luggage, no food, yes, you could tow maybe very close to that, maybe 7,700 pounds, 7,800 pounds, without overloading the frame of the motorhome. Now, guys, in real life, Who's going to drive a motorhome like that? This thing holds 80 gallons of gasoline. It holds 50 gallons of fresh water, not to mention any water that's in your gray and black tank. You've got 88 pounds of propane. Just if you filled your gasoline tank and you filled your propane tank and your propane tank, you're talking 1,500 pounds right there. Not counting the weight of your passengers, the driver, luggage, food, water. You see, every pound you add 
is a pound it takes away from the 8,000 supposedly 8,000 pound tow capacity so if you fill this thing up with water and fuel and propane well guess what guys your your towing your 8,000 pound tow capacity for the in the sales brochure that the manufacturer put out which they put that in there to help look more attractive to RV buyers when it was new so that they're going to buy it because they think it's going to always tow 8,000 pounds but it won't it's going to it suddenly drops to 6,500 pounds the tow capacity because you've got you can only tow 23,000 your motorhome can only handle 23,000 pounds total and you went from 15,000 pounds to 16,500 pounds you add 600 pounds worth of passengers well now you're at uh what what's that uh 17,100 pounds few hundred pounds of food and propane and luggage suddenly you're at 17.5 so guys that's why i always say in my videos figure about 5,000 pounds maybe 5,500 pounds at the most when you're towing uh, uh behind an rv because you're not going to tow this thing completely empty you remember that sale and i wish rv manufacturers would quit doing that it's so deceptive to the uninformed rv shopper because it is and, and honestly with you 99 percent of y'all would probably and i'm not calling y'all uninformed or dumb by no means guys this is i mean y'all this should this should be, this should be something you shouldn't have to know this is something that rv manufacturers should be straight up forward with customers they should have a towing capacity range are realistic they should say uh 5,000 to 6,500 pounds depending on how much you load in your rv for a tow capacity i think that would be a safer than putting uh, just putting 8,000 pounds and no explanation about how they come up with that number because it will only it's not going to it may be in laboratory conditions like i said with five gallons of gas in the tank and you stopping every and, and you stopping every 30 minutes to put five more gallons of gas in the tank yeah maybe with a 150 pound driver <laughs> yeah you'd be uh, you'd be underneath your gcwr but that's the only way so hope that clears things up about that glad customer uh, asked me why i always say that about towing capacity that it may be rated for eight thousand pounds but i would not recommend towing that much weight with it that's why i say that is because you load it up the more you load in it the more your towing capacity drops so anyway and if you got questions about that feel free to uh make a comment and i'll try to clear that up maybe maybe clear it up for you a little bit but anyway back to the tour uh nice countertops this is a flip down sleeper sofa like i said it sleeps seven single basin sink you do have a contour this is the uh oof microwave you do have a six cubic foot rv refrigerator freezer runs off propane or electric now, i don't have the generator running right now it's got 600 hours on it because my fuel level is a little bit low and honestly i didn't want to drive this thing in the rain and it's not that i can't drive it in the rain it's just because it's clean and i have only got one uh wash person and he's so backed up and when you drive one in the rain it's just like driving a clean car in the rain it gets filthy just driving it to the gas station and back that's why i'm not going to drive it uh, to get fuel in it or drive it to uh, test drive it on video not that i don't want to believe me i do but you know it would involve him putting this in line to wash it it may be a couple of days and it's going to get filthy and he's already washed it once so there's no sense in doing that i mean with thirty-three thousand miles i don't really think you got much to worry about how it rides and drives but like i said if by some miracle the good lord is still here in a couple of weeks which i seriously doubt that i will reshoot the video with drone footage and test drive on a pretty day i do like the 84 inch tall ceiling height in the aces guys you don't feel claustrophobic at all and by the way that the term ace ace which is actually technically it's ace stands for class ac evolution because this is the class a that's designed to attract class c shoppers because it's meant to kind of combine the best of both classes the drivability 
the storage of a Class A, drivability of a Class C, I guess is the best way to describe it. Uh, you've got the outside sh or the uh, shower in the hallway. It's a split bath, RV toilet, sink. Thing looks good in here. Very nice size bathroom for a smaller Class A. You've got a Queen Island bed. Like I said, this is your cushion. I had it recovered too. T another TV, closet. Big, wet, cold, ugly guy in the mirror. Doesn't come with it, but... <laughs> well, if you're going somewhere warm and sunny, hey, I just might. <laughs> so don't tip me. <laughs> we got two or three more days of this crap <laughs> before, it, before it clears up. Two big closets. Got a Bluetooth stereo in here. I do have a fantastic vent fan in the bedroom. I'm always a big fan of those, especially if you're ever going to do any kind of boondock camping because they run off 12 volt. And if you don't want to run your generator and your roof air, those can help circulate a lot of air, give you a good night's sleep. And uh, I always call them the boondocker's best friend because that's what they are. Uh, it does have a six gallon DSI gas or electric water heater. Got another fantastic vent fan too. LED lighting. And uh, you know, it's only $49.9. Y'all saw the NADA, get on RV Trader, take a look at them. I mean, it's a heck of a deal. Am I gonna say it's absolutely perfect? Of course not. Y'all saw the stripes I pointed out on the outside. The inside's nice. Brand new upholstery. You know, I don't just stop at the cushions. See all that, all those trim pieces right there and the frame? I have that recovered too. I, you know, I have all that done. Now, yeah, it costs a couple of thousand dollars, but it's money well spent because I, that's one of the tricks I use when buying these things is because, you know, so many different manufacturers use this, this type of furniture. From about 2009, 10 to as late as 2018 or 19 in some cases. Coachman, Jayco, it's not just Store, but it's several other brands. I've even seen New Mars Flake. And um, because they use some, they don't use it in all of them, but they have used it in some of their RVs. So, um, and this is a real thick, heavy duty material. It's still soft and gives but it's a lot thicker in fact if you compared it to what was in it you can tell it with your hand when you squeeze it and pinch it that it's a whole lot thicker than what was in this is what should have been in it from the get-go and uh, you don't have to worry about it flaking or peeling i mean this stuff right here is going to last you for decades if you take care of it so all that's good you know what's good about that you know a lot of people don't go through the trouble because they don't have access to an actual poster shop because it's kind of like one of those dying arts you know reupholstering furniture because everybody just replaces it now problem is with rvs you throw house furniture in one of these things it sticks out like a sore thumb because it's sits up way too tall it covers windows it's obviously not what came in it from the factory and um and then trying to match the colors too is almost impossible so that's the best way to do it. If you've got a Thor or a Coachman or Jayco, Numar, Forest River, whatever it is, that had the same flaking furniture problem and you want to know how to fix it, guys, don't just cover it up. Go find an upholstery shop somewhere and get it fixed. Yeah, it may be a little expensive, may have to wait a little while, but it's well worth it. You'll be glad you did it. And here's your little tip, too. If you're not worried about your RV sofa being comfortable enough, have them restuff it while they got everything out. On my personal motor home, I had them redo my front two seats. I had them restuff them. Oh, it's like sitting in an easy chair now. You talk about amazing. But anyway, 49.9 haggle free firm, which includes our major systems inspection. So, guys, you why nobody can absolutely cover everything on an RV. Uh, we do cover the following systems for the 49.9 price and only the following systems. Uh, for 49.9 plus applicable sales tax, with no added fees, no upsells, we cover the generator, make sure it runs and puts out electricity like it's supposed to. 
we make sure the slide outs work. Uh, we make sure they seal good. We make sure there's no damage to them. If we find issues with any of those pro any of those systems or any of the other ones I'm about to mention, we fix it at no additional cost to you for the $49.9 price. We check your refrigerator and freezer on all modes of operation, make sure it gets to operating temperature. We check your roof air conditioner. We check your propane system, make sure there's no propane leaks. Uh, we check your um, plumbing systems, make sure there's no plumbing leaks anywhere. Uh, we check your water heater on all modes of operation, make sure you got hot water. Make sure hot water goes everywhere it's supposed to. <laughs> you know, on top of your plumbing systems also includes a uh, water pump, um, checking your faucet, spigots, toilet, things like that. Pretty much your entire water system. Uh, we check your step, we check the drivability of it. We just drove this thing several hundred miles, no problem. Uh, we check. Uh, that's what we check, guys. Everything else is sold as is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And for, as always, guys, if for a complete listing of everything that we check and inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay, look on the list below in the video description or if you're watching this on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. It's on every single ad. And if you need, if you have questions about that or need to clarify something, just call 706-965-7929. One of my salespeople be happy to answer your questions, clarify anything you want to clarify, and even send you over a detailed list, you know, via email uh, or whatever of, you know, send pictures, send to your phone or whatever of um, of those of what we exactly what we cover as well. We even have the buyer, and you know, we even sign a contract at the beginning of the transaction with the buyer, so that us the seller and you the buyer and we sign both of it and date it and everything uh know what we expect from each other you know you we know we expect you to pay for it within so many days and and all that stuff and we and also in that contract it, it goes over in detail the systems that we inspect and guarantee to work after purchase and of course you get an rv education when you pick it up here on the lot um we show you those systems work and guys we also and i highly recommend this and this should be common sense for anybody buying any rv new or used it doesn't matter uh dealer or individual you should do this anyway first of all step number one you need to come look at it you know i highly recommend you come look at it because pictures help videos help but nothing beats actually looking at an rv with your own eyes because you know perception size perception is pretty important when buying an rv you know you want to be able to walk through an rv and make sure that everything fits fits you just right you know sit on the couch lay down on the bed sit on the toilet with your pants on please of course stand up in the shower sit in the driver's seat maybe take it for a test drive if you come monday through friday you can test drive it uh you know 9 a.m to 6 p.m if you're going to test drive it, try to be here at least an hour, hour and a half before closing. Um, because it gets dark pretty early this time of year, too. And, um, you know, check it out. And once you make sure that it's the right RV for you, picture your stuff in here, picture whoever you got coming with you. If you got a spouse or friends or, or family or whoever you got staying with you, make sure there's enough room for them as well as you. Because no matter how, how far back, a book value an rv is or how low the price of it it's not the right rv for you there's no point going any further i mean even if it's half price of anybody else's in the country if it's not the right it's no such thing as a right deal on the wrong rv if it's not the right one for you there's no sense going any further you know don't buy something because it's cheap buy something because it's the right one for you and then the price is just a icing on the cake if it's cheap too that's the way I look at it anyway. You know, y'all may see it totally different. But, you know, I'm, if it's not the right RV for me, I, I, I look at the RV before I before, uh, make sure it's right for me, and then I look at the price. But, like I said, if you're wanting something, an alternative to Class C, this thing can sleep almost as much as the Class C, 
Uh, it's about the same length. In fact, this is shorter than a lot of Class C's. You get the benefits of a Class A. You get the storage capacity, the outside storage, the bigger tanks. Um, I like the fact you sit up taller than in a Class A than you do a Class C. This ain't got to remind you of an old 70s Winnebago Brave. At least it does to me. I like the looks of the Ace. And they do drive great, too. That 362 horsepower V10's definitely got some power. And these are, as far as motorhomes made in the past 10, 15 years, these are probably the best-selling motorhome of that era, of this modern era. And, of course, Thor, you know, being Thor, the largest in the, in the industry. Plenty of places, plenty of dealerships you can get this thing worked on it, 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 when, you know, when that time comes. Which hopefully won't be for a long time. You know, any RV you buy, you're going to work on. I mean, that's just the nature of owning an RV. It doesn't matter if it's new, used, costs you $50,000 or $5,000 or $5 million. You're going to work on it. But, uh, you know, you know, once you get here and you establish it's the right RV for you, if you've owned RVs, you've got some experience with them, you can inspect it yourself while you're here. And, um, you know, check everything out, see what works, what doesn't before deciding to buy it or not buy it because you know the systems that we inspect and guarantee to work you know that that, that we inspect for you after purchase at that point and uh, so any, any of those systems you find anything wrong with them you know they'll be taken care of and anything else of course is on you to fix or not fix we cover the major stuff the stuff that can ruin your trip you know a light bulb not working or a drawer not closing right or something like that it's not going to ruin your trip you can handle the mickey mouse stuff we handle the major stuff you know, slide out not working can, can ruin your trip, or a refrigerator not working can ruin your trip, or a water heater not working can ruin your trip. So we check that stuff. But anyway, <laughs> so inspect it yourself and or, and I highly recommend this next step, and I'm probably the only dealership in the country, and I put this on every one of our ads, I recommend this too. I highly recommend you get a third-party RV inspector on any RV you buy. Use new for sale by owner or dealer. Always get a third-party independent inspector that's unbiased. That way, you kind of get an idea what you're getting into before you get into it. Trust me, guys. Uh, those, those, that's the best resource since the internet available to used RV shoppers. Now, I just looked, guys. There are seven. I just looked at an RV Trader, and there are seven uh, 2015 Thor Ace 30.1s currently for sale in RV Trader. 36,000 miles, 63,495 in Texas, 64.5 with 49,000 miles. These are all 15 30.1s, by the way, in Virginia. Uh, 69.9 with 23,000 miles, a little less miles is in New York, which is Rust Belt. Uh, 69,877 with 20,500 miles in Jacksonville. And here's one for 78,9 with 11,000 miles in Florida. And here's one for 68,000 miles in Texas. And last one is a one in California with 64,000 miles with, or, or, what, excuse me. Back that up. 21,000 miles. I just like see it's kicking in. Here's one in California with 21,000 miles for 64 grand. Now, compare 64, 68, 79, 70, or 68, 9, uh, 69, 9, 64, 5, 63, 4. Compare all those prices to this one with 33,000 miles for 49.9 plus applicable sales tax with no fees, no upsells. You know, most of those were dealerships at those other ones. Those dealers on that asking price, you can't go in there and buy those for the asking price. On top of sales tax, just like we have to charge, they're gonna have fees and upsells that could total several thousand dollars. We don't have those. It's just 49.9 plus applicable sales tax. Georgia residents, there is a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee that applies to Georgia residents only. Out-of-state residents, you don't pay that. That's it. 
We have financing available with approved credit, and we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. Uh, good, but you know we can do semi-local deliveries, local deliveries here, pretty reasonably, and we've got our buddies at Nuga Transport that can take it beyond that. So uh, we can put you in touch with them, and uh, they can help you out and get you a quote on a long-distance delivery because this thing even delivered. This is something if you got to travel two or three thousand miles to get, it's well worth it because, like I said, it's uh, about 12, 13 grand lower than any other one in the country. That's not chump change. That's a ton of savings. Thank y'all so much. And, and here's the thing, guys. Uh, Garrett, I didn't look at individual at each one of those. I guarantee there's quite a few flaking furniture ones in those. Or they might have uh, slip covers on them or something like that or put house furniture in it. Very few of those actually had the upholstery professionally recovered in the matching color it came from the factory. Very few of them. I guarantee you that. So anyway, guys. 49.9 while it lasts. Thank y'all for watching this cold, wet, rainy day. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off. And um, and like I said, guys, I apologize not doing the test drives. I had to do something today, so I figured let's just do this, and I will refilm this thing in a week or two, which I seriously doubt it'd be here that long. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. And um, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.